싶어요. You couldn't have Warhorse Bar without trying Warhorse Green. So, you guys saw the cut. It's crumble cake, just like Warhorse Bar. Breaks apart very easily in your fingers. The smell in the tin was a more aromatic version of Warhorse Bar and a sweeter smell with that same type of Christmas spice that I call it. Um, um, yeah, but a little more aromatic and you could smell a little bit more of the dark fired Kentucky. And there is a big old dragonfly trying to get at my lantern. Let me back just a little bit there. So initial taste, lay my Dr. Pepper here, just take one more sip. Was a very sweet licorice um, with a tad bit of floral. And I, again, I will say before COVID, probably would have been very floral to me. Very sweet, much sweeter than Four Horse Bar. A little bit of cocoa in the background there. I did not look up to see how strong this was. So I'm not sure if this is as strong or stronger than Warhorse Bar. My guess is it couldn't be much stronger. And I had it in a corn cob tonight because I wasn't sure how badly this would ghost a briar. And uh, I think the corn cob was a proper choice only because I think it's bringing out the sweetness of the blend. fall nights where it's quiet and cool. Mm. But each puff you get that nice sweet um, anisette, a little bit of the dark fired Kentucky, a little bit of that tang, red Virginia tang. A very smooth, no bite. The sweetness lingers. So, we're going to go on the journey, and as usual, we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Guys, welcome back to the second part of Warhorse Green. Yes, I'm playing with my mustache a lot. <laughs> you guys, if you need the channel, welcome. Um, by the way, I love vests. Vests just keep things and, and you know, you put everything in your vest. So I've got my little old boy and tamper here. Um, or horse grain. I never, okay, I said this in the Warhorse Bar, but I'm gonna say it again. I never thought I would actually say that I like this tobacco. Never. Um, and I'm blaming COVID. 
Man, that damn virus that changed my chemistry. She tells you that something's up with that, but anyway. Thank God it didn't take my love for codgers away. Anywho, um, it has dialed back my floral meter to where, and again, I had to cheat on this one um, because I was getting so many good flavors, all very sweet. I mean, still on my, I mean, I've just kind of let it rest because the nicotine, we'll talk about that. But the, the, the mouthfeel, the sweetness on your lips, and it's all very natural to me. <clears throat> um, yes, this is topped with licorice um, and some floral essences, um, but none of it is overdone. It's so it's blended so well. Um, you get a little bit of that tang from the Red Virginia kind of on your palate. Um, a little bit of a kind of pop rock, rock seed kind of kind of feel. It, it's not bite. There's no bite in it. Um, if you sip this. The flavors are good. If you quaff this, the flavors are good. If you freight train this, the flavors are good. It, it, it never goes away. It's like, wow. Which brings me up to the next part, nicotine. This is not as strong as Warhorse Bar. So Warhorse Bar to me is probably, and I'm thinking on camera live here, is probably the strongest tobacco I've ever tried. Um, yes, um, big and burly, very strong, but I don't think big and burly is up to Warhorse, what Warhorse was. Hana Bookshop for me was not up to the strength of Warhorse. Samoa is not up to the strength of Warhorse. Um, I never have had Picayune. A lot of people say that. I think that's gone by the wayside. Um, but anyway, so this is a, is a shade below. I would call this medium strong, whereas Warhorse was almost strong to overpowering. Um, this though is much more of an aromatic experience while still preserving some of the natural tobacco and giving the Piper an intoxicating experience. Um, but I freight trained this because it's so good that you can freight train it and it doesn't change. I love codger blends and and I will never give up my codger blends. They, they, I love them, I love the taste of them, I love what they bring, I love the nostalgia of them. But if you freight train those suckers, they can get ashy and they get a little cigarette -y. Warhorse Bar, it's the same. It's the same, guys. Um, however, the nicotine hits you quicker. So I had to kind of let it go out and, and set and sip my drink for a little bit. But on a beautiful fall light night like tonight, that's not a problem. So I'm gonna take a couple more puffs here, try to give you what I'm feeling, or what I'm tasting, excuse me, at the, uh, uh, second half of the bowl here. Um, <clears throat> again, I won't really know how bad this goes until there's a little uh, mosquito. Um, that's cool that they're still here. Um, how bad this goes until I try something else in this cob. And cobs don't ghost too bad, but they do ghost in my opinion a little bit. So, and I may try it in the bar. Um, I won't may. I mean, I will try it in the bar. Ah. The other thing, the spice. If you if you go back and watch my Warhorse Bar, uh, which I'll try to put a link to it somewhere in the video here if I can do it. Um, oh, it's nice cocoa, a little bit of licorice, uh, and that spice. Um, there's a spice that that I am guessing is valerian root uh, that is in Warhorse Bar that is not there every puff. If you if you freight train it a little bit in Warhorse Bar, it kind of goes away. That spice is in here. Every puff, even if you pull it, even if you do big draws, but it is in this blend less, if that makes sense. So if you've got a really full, rich uh, taste of that, I'm gonna say Valerian root in Warhorse Bar, 
you're gonna get like a medium taste of that in War Horse Green. So it's so good, guys. Um, so good. I am going to experiment with this too. Um, I'm already thinking like if I, this I would just rubbed out. If I maybe put some chunks kind of in there uh, and let it burn real slow and see how that does. Mechanics have been pretty good. It's a crumble cake plug uh, and so it is a little moist. So you might have some relights, but Warhorse Bar was an A++, Warhorse Green is an A++. I mean, they, they are so close. It's just a different experience. This is a little more topped, a little more aromatic. Um, no soapy, nasty mouth feel at all. Um, they say this is in the essence of Condor uh, Green, Condor Green, I think. Somebody, some my overseas subscribers, Pipe Monkey, maybe you, you've had Con Condor or Yanez. Um, and uh, so let me know if that's true. Um, I've never had Condor, uh, but um, I love it. There you go. Pick you up some more horse green if you can. It's good stuff. All right, that's it. I know I rambled. Guys, thank you for hanging with me and thank you for watching. And we will see you very soon. Take care.